Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or ticket to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99, which has 50 gig of high speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The flooding tragedy of July touched the lives of many Kentuckians, some of whom are still reckoning with the loss of everything they own. Many are working to get their lives back to some kind of normalcy. Campbell's Grocery and Deli, a cornerstone of the Garrett community, is one such establishment which is trying to get back on its feet. Since about 1943 or older, my family started out in this grocery store over in West Garrett and then they moved over to Garrett. So my grandmother and grandfather owned the business and then my mother and her brothers owned. That's why it's called Lily Campbell and Son because the sons, they were in the business at one time. Now, I'm the sole proprietor and I'm the only one that owns the business. The morning the floodwaters rose, they did everything in their power to protect what was inside the store, but no one could have expected the true scope of the flooding. The girls, these girls over here, they can, I called them at 5.30 in the morning, said we're going to get flooding because it was coming up so fast. And they were down here and they tried to put up stuff. They did put up everything, but it wasn't high enough this time. I didn't, it's never gotten that high before, so I was in total shock, to be honest, with this. Some doubts were raised that the grocery would even be saved. That day I had questions where we were going to come back or not when we come in here and all this mud and everything. Everything was turned over, coolers was turned over. Uh, it was just unbelievable how everything looked in here, but these girls over here have been by me from day one. O'Neill was able to take out a loan through Southeastern Kentucky Economic Development to help get the store back on its feet. Well, that was a $5,000 loan that we got for 0% interest and zero payment for one year. So we thought that would help us to kind of get started back. I've applied for a $10,000 grant through the Appalachian Fund, but I haven't heard anything from that. We lost all of our merchandise. so and then plus having to have coolers redone. Through local donations and help from friends and some community members, Campbell's Grocery and Deli is on their way to reopening. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.